Like, you're making me genuinely lose my mind. Where are you going to look at me? I'm about to lose my mind. And then, and then you're going to go and be like, oh, um, let's cook dinner together, honey. I heard let's cook dinner together, honey. <laughs> Sounds incredibly stressful for the both of us. I've played this game. I know how this game works. Oh, my mushroom! I got him, I got him. Kayla, I'm not falling off. You are so much falling off. I, I don't understand You're what... You're fumbling. What, What's you the name of this so game? Overcooked. Oh, that one. I remember that. Oh, uh, yeah. This time we're going to actually sign their marriage certificate to make your marriage official. So we'll walk over here. There's going to be a table set up. <laughs> you guys will sign. I'll be on. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I need you to sign. Can? Or I need a witness. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And then, we'll sign. And then we'll come back here. And then I'll be, alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be... On behalf of uh, the by the power of Vesity, by the power of Vesity, by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and the state of Hawaii, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. Yes. Yeah. And then I'll say, ladies and gentlemen, oh it is my honor and privilege to uh, present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Christian Gapo. Dun 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 a kiss. <laughs> oh, it was better than the first one. Oh, yeah. So, oh, have you guys that space, yeah, yeah. Please, Look at that fancy. There we go. <laughs> hello. 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 Don't mind me. I'm just. I'm just here. We're gonna take a few quick pictures together, and then I think we're we're good. All right, we're uh at the sanctuary. We're at the sanctuary. And it's uh, getting close to the 4th of July. Piano. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just, piano. I'm just... Yeah, I'm going to go like that. Lady. <laughs> but always amazing and seeing that smell. Christian, I've known you since you were younger. <laughs> I want to make that joke because when Christian first gave his message years ago, he gave a message and he taught, he told a story about when he was younger and the dude was only 12 years old. <laughs> but here you are. And I've seen you guys be together in your relationship and you guys are making the most amazing decision. I was able to...
counsel you in your marriage, your premarital counseling. And this was the very first I ever did. I was like, I just like get them done already so they can get married. Because you guys are amazing together. But when it comes to marriage, like I told you guys before, it's important that there's a solid foundation. And in the world today, there's a lot of different things, but there's one that always will be the same, and that's Jesus. In fact, he is love. And as you build your marriage on his foundation, as you guys continue to discover and love each other, he is going to become your definition of love. Just as it says in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 8, that love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And love never fails because God never fails. And God has created marriage to be a symbol of how he loves us and how we are to love one another as husband and wife. Now, I know I told you guys this throughout the counseling, and even be, and even for you before that, because we'd always joke about what's the wife's what was the role of the wife, and what's the role of the husband. And while many people will give you different definitions, how's about we go to the Bible, where it says in Ephesians five twenty two to verses thirty three, wives understand and support your husbands in ways that show your support for Christ. The husband provides leadership to his wife the way Christ does to his church. Not by domineering, but by cherishing. So just as the church submits to Christ as he exercises such leadership, wives should likewise submit to their husbands. And that's normally where the husbands go, yes, wives got to submit to me. <laughs> but hold on, like I've always told you this, Christian, there's always the catch side. Because there's the husband side. And it says, husbands, go all out in your love for your wives. Exactly as Christ did for the church. A love marked by giving, not getting. Christ's love makes the whole church, the church whole. His words evoke her beauty. Everything he does and says is designed to bring out the best out of her, dressing her in dazzling white silk, radiant with holiness. And that is how husbands ought to love their wives. They're really doing themselves a favor since they already since they're already one in marriage. And this is why a man leaves a father and mother and cherishes his wife. No longer two, they become one flesh. And this is a huge mystery and I don't pretend to understand it all. What is clear to me is the way Christ treats the church. And this provides a good picture of how each husband is to treat his wife, loving himself and loving her, and how each wife is to honor her husband. So as you take this day on and move forward from this day, there's going to be times where Kristen, we know Christian's going to get on your nerves. He's going to drive you crazy. He's going to give. He's going to be super analytical. He's going to pretend that he, that he's he's going to give you a lot of answers, and you just want him to say yes or no, Christian. I'm not wrong, dude. I know you, man. I know you. Dude. I love you. <clears throat> no, that's it. That's all I have written. Sorry. But. Just know that Christian is he so hard Christian. He's gonna do his he's gonna do his best to love you as best as he can. And that's a, that's your job, buddy. Dude, like I was gonna say buddy, dude, I don't know, I don't know what to say. But <laughs> Christian, that's your that's your responsibility. Is to love Christian and go all out. And I know you do already. But remember though that marriage is not just the two of you. Marriage is a union between man and a woman joining hearts together with God. And so as the both of you continuously seek after him and his kingdom, he will continuously add to your marriage. Every marriage has its share of highs and lows, ups and downs. There are going to be times where you will drive each other crazy. But as you keep seeking Jesus throughout your marriage, these moments will become blessings as you continue to move forward together. So keep Jesus as a central figure in your marriage and never take love, each other's love for granted and grow together. So at this time, the bride and the groom have written their own vows for each other. 
I know yesterday I said Christian was going to go first, but Christian's going to go first, actually. Is this yours? Kristen, I love you and I'm so happy and so lucky to have you here with me now. All these years together have been some of the best years of my life. Whether I was listening to music in the park with you, or watching the ocean, or even when we weren't physically together, and it felt like years worth of distance, one thing was very clear. You are my soulmate. And you're even better than the girl of my dreams. And so I vow to be there for you on those cold days and those long nights. I promise to be your biggest fan, the guy in your corner cheering you on. I promise to be the one to take care of the cockroaches so you don't have to see them. <laughs> but more than anything, I promise to love you with all the love the Lord has given me. my vows last night so this is from my heart since it's fresh from the oven <laughs> Christian I am in love with you you are my safe place my warmth my best friend I am so blessed to be your partner through this life I believe that we complete each other I am definitely in love with every bit of you I love holding your hand I love being a dork around you and that you're a dork around me. <laughs> I look at my future and I see you and I together and I promise to be by your side. I promise to be dependable, honest, and supportive, to give you comfort and respect and room to grow. I promise you will always have a snug at home and a home in my heart. I promise to be your partner and faithful wife to give you my love, my life, and myself fully and completely. I am hopelessly in love with you, and I intend to keep it that way the rest of our lives. I love listening to your voice speak and listening to your heartbeat. You keep me steady, bring me to tears, make me laugh so hard I can't breathe. You listen, you compromise, you trust me, and I trust you. Thank you for choosing me to spend eternity with. I love you. You're my favorite. All right. That was beautiful, you guys. At this time, can I have the rings? So the rings are a symbol of your love for each other. It doesn't mean that you own each other. It's not you're my property and you're my property. What it actually is, is as you see the circle, perfect circle, has no beginning and no end. There's no cracks, there's no breaks in it. Just like how your love for each other works. And so remember that every time that you look at your ring, remember the love that you have for each other. And so... Kristen, I'm going to have you, actually, Christian, I'm going to have you go first. So you're going to place the ring halfway. All right. And you can repeat after me. I didn't know how I was going to do this, but you're going to repeat after me, okay? You're going to look into her eyes as you do so, okay? I, Christian. I, Christian, take you, Christian, take you, Christian, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in joy and sorrow, in joy and sorrow, forever promising my love to you, forever promising my love to you, and with this ring, and with this ring, I take you as my wife. I take you as my wife. 
For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Christian, do you take Kristen to be your faithful and lawfully wedded wife, promising to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others, and holding only unto her for the rest of your life? I do. Should I say that one more time? <laughs> I do. the ring halfway on Christian's finger and you're going to also repeat after me as you look into Christian's eyes okay so I Christian I Christian take you Christian take you Christian to be my husband to be my husband to have and to hold have and to hold in sickness and in health in sickness and in health for richer or for poorer for richer or for poorer in joy and sorrow in joy and sorrow Forever promising my love to you. Forever promising my love to you. And with this ring. And with this ring. I take you as my husband. I take you as my husband. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Christian, do you take Christian to be your faithful and lawfully wedded husband, promising to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others, and holding only unto him for the rest of your life? I do. Alright, well, to make this marriage official, we have one more thing to do. We're going to sign our marriage certificate, okay? By the power invested in me by Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior and by the state of Hawaii, I officially announce you husband and wife. Yeah. You may kiss your bride. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to announce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Christian Gapol. And so as they walk down, just a reminder, you can throw your wedding, the ro the roses, probably. I can get a few of those, too. Love bike. So funny. Thank you. It's the it's the only pants I got. <laughs> yeah. Before you leave, uh, they're requesting a group shot with the newlyweds. Never mind.
will fix it. You can do that. I can't do that one. Photo bomb. A photo bomb. Hey, hey. <laughs> photo video. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to head on down to the restaurant. We'll see you there. We'll take. I got the, the I got the real Oh yeah. <laughs> oh you wanted to be in with the tree, right? No, I I was getting everyone else too. Yeah, I was trying to get the hose out of there. Yeah, that's nice. Ma Maddie's in there too now. No, I wanted you in there. Oh, yeah, you Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. We singing happy birthday? This isn't a cat balloon. Oh. Need to cut it in 200 pieces. Thank you. My son is very analytical. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so you got it! <laughs> Whose piece is that? <laughs> oh, we, cut that one in like 12 pieces. Uh-oh! Oh, we got this, we got this. It looks like Fissure 8. Fissure 8. You suck it overcooked. <laughs> Honey, enough with the knife, no fingers. Just fingers. Finger foods. We both need a piece. We both need a piece. Nicely. Respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's where your hair is at. That's all. 
was near and my time has come Still my soul will sing your praise unending Ten thousand years and then forever 